Hello, hello, how are you? This is Jilly Bling and I have another project using Taco Fiesta stamp set. And maybe I've been using this set, this is the third card, because I really like Mexican food, particularly nachos and guacamole and anything, you name it, I love it. Or maybe because Diane and I went out to Chipotle the other day and we had the salad and it was loaded with good stuff. That was the beginning of all this. But it's timely because Cinco de Mayo is coming up. So here's the project. What do you think? So with this set, there's a lot of images to color in and they're all really cute. And I get carried away. So the first two cards, there wasn't that much to color, which was on purpose because I know I get carried away. And then there's this one. But I have a lot of the coloring already done, but it's adorable. I love this card. With the pinata, yep. So, Taco Fiesta, blending brush. Oh, did you notice the hint of pool party back behind the pinata? Deco rectangles, and that is for this piece right here, the designer paper. Scallop contours for the scalloped rectangle, and stylish shapes for these little squares. And I was trying to find a rectangle about this size that I could use as a die cut. Couldn't find it, so I just cut it to cut it to fit. And once I finish this project, tomorrow I'll post all three of the, pro um, the projects um, with the photos and then also the paper cut sizes, just so you know what size to cut them. But if you have this die, you could probably very easily figure it out. But I'll get those posted. And if you want to order the set, if you could, use host code right here. That would be appreciated. I, um, I like to inspire, hoping that it makes you want the stamp set. That's my plan. So you ready to get started? I want to do um, gold cord. On this one this is elegant trim which is nice it's in the current catalog and it's making its way to the next catalog okay so here we go so I want to use the gold this time and this is for stamping let's do the stamping so on this one I have the pinata and I'm stamping in Memento so I could use the blends to color in. And I use so many different colors on um, this project. But it's very cheerful, very happy. What is this? His mustache. That goes right on the cactus. There's all kinds of other little smiles that I could put. Maybe I'll put a smile on. I don't know. Nah. Um, but you could put smiles on everything. You could put it on your guacamole bowl. Look at all these little faces. And you could put any of those. Even the mustache guy on the taco, the quesadilla, nacho, any, on any of them. I wonder if you could put just dots and that could be a really big, oh. Okay, where are we? sombrero and these are hand cut which is the only the only downfall no no dies to this set that's why I say don't don't go crazy and stamp too much because there's then a lot to color and cut out chili pepper confetti we'll use that in a minute quesadilla okay so what do you like in your quesadilla I like something. Definitely shrimp. But lots of things. Okay, so that's good for now. So these little bits, I'm going to cut them and color them. Look at that. Magic. I wish it would really work like that. Okay, so <laughs> coloring, coloring the pinata. I'm like, okay, different colors for everything. And I kept on looking and thinking, 
that's just wrong. So at first it was pool party, and then I went back and colored it with um, Tahitian Tide. And this morning I came in here, it's like, I still don't like it. So I did another one, and I'm going to fix it. And that's what I did on this one too. Could you even tell? Like if you put your finger there. But that fixed it, which is good. So we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so let's get to building this card. So this is for, well, you know what? There's not too much to cut out. So let's cut out this piece stays. This one gets deco rectangle. One of these get the scallop contour. And the scratch paper gets three of the stitched squares. Okay, so that's a good start. That one goes on there. Coastal Cabana. Okay, and a lot of these little pieces, um, they just get stuck down flat because um, when you put the little cute colored pieces on top, those will go on with dimensionals. So if I put dimensionals on everything, I think it would be too much. It would be a pyramid because <laughs> there's a lot of layers here. Oh, in this piece of paper, at first I cut it to um, four. Was it four by five and a quarter? But then when I put this one on, it didn't fit. So I had to trim it to, or I made a different one, five and three eighths by, I think it's four and an eighth. So this is four, but this is five and three eighths and it's a little bit different it makes these borders bigger than the top and bottom but that's necessary because of the die cut the decal rectangle die it makes it this shape and it just looked awkward if I had like a whole lot of extra black on either side but again I'll put the the sizes on my blog oh and my blog is jillybling.com Tomorrow. Tomorrow's a good day. Oh, I have two of them at one time. I guess the paper is thinner, so if ever you're cutting um, designer paper, you could squeeze in two. Huh. Well, that was a bonus. I can make another card. Uh-oh. Why does that always happen? It's out. and seal. It's like it's fine all the time when I'm working amongst myself. Then it runs out. How could it run out? Oh, and whenever you're cleaning yours, if ever you see, like I see a bunch of adhesive kind of balled up right here, if you can, try to keep your cartridge as clean as you can. Just because if it gets like that ball of adhesive, if it gets too big, then it starts interrupting the flow of your, your runner. And that's not good. Okay, this one's garbage. And this one is ready. Okay, back to where we were. I love the bright colors. And this one, I'm not going to put this one on yet. Just because 
See how the pinata tassel is tucked back behind it? Yeah, when I did this one, I had to lift it all up and that's so good. This is inside paper. Oh, and I should have inside black black liner. Okay, and we'll work on inside in just a minute. So let's work on pinata. So I can wrap that thing around first before finishing off the front of the card. So this gets the candy and the confetti on it. Just kind of random. And a lot of it will be covered up by the pinata, but it's just a happy little, happy little addition. Okay, that's good. And then we can do the pool party blending brush addition. Pool party. Right in the middle. Tony is, usually he puts in more hours at work because they're like, oh, we need help with this project, that project. But it drives him crazy when the yard isn't, our yard isn't kept up and school's wanting him to keep up on their yard. So he was, he's been saying all week, okay, later in the week, I'm going to be home. So he is out there right now, weed eating and mowing and he's doing it all. He's like, is it going to be too noisy? I'm like, nah. It'll be just fine. Okay, so um, when you look at this project, first thing you see is yellow, red, red. Okay, and then when you look at it, you could see the cute little images. So to me, those are kind of like a structure. Yellow, yellow, red, red. Um, and then all the rest is add-on. Therefore, I'm going to keep the candies in um, a soft, cool tone, like the blues. Because if I put them in red... Your eye would be just looking everywhere. It'd be a party for your eyes, but it, it might get a little bit confusing. So I'm going to use dark and light Tahitian Tide. Um, and for this one, I'm kind of keeping it a little bit similar, but somewhat monochromatic, all in the different blues. I think this might be a candy. Well, it's going to be a candy now. This one, too. Probably could figure it out if I pulled the stamp over here and compared. What is that? Okay, and then the other one, and I have so many colors over here. I don't know that, yeah, you can't see them, which is probably good because it would become intimidating. I have colors. This many colors. You can't even see that hand. It's a lot of colors. Probably half of the box. The festive happy card, though. So, Maria, she sent me a message and she says, I'm going to try that magic card. So I hope she does. And you're probably saying, what magic card are you talking about? I'll pull it out again. And when I made that card, first I did one, and then it had all that coloring on it. It's like, I'm not doing another one of these. But then I thought, it's really cool and I should share it. So I did a video making it. So there's just a few in the world, but... I, I can't I can't handle it. It's it's a lot of coloring. Do I have you curious now? I'll pull it out here in just a minute. After I finish these candy candies. And finally, pool party. Okay, the whole thing could go in that. It's such a tiny little bit, I don't think there's a need to do 
blending in two colors. Okay, let me pull out the card, the magic card. Here it is. Okay, so I did it with guacamole. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And I did these colors, these the same, and these the same. Okay, so here's the magic card. So I was fussing about all the um, coloring and cutting of this. So you're like, okay, that's about what's on this card. But wait, there's more. So there's that. But you ready for the magic? Let me put it up like this. Or no, I'll keep it like this. Here's the magic. Yeah. It's like, where did that come from? How does it do that? Okay, so now I'll put it up this way. Open it. Open it. Put your thumbs in the middle. Usually. And magic. Isn't that cool? And on the back, there's a panel that slips through here and a panel that slips through here. And they're connected right up here. Or some of them are. But um, I put a link in the last video. I'll put a link in this one if you want to try to make it. Maria, let me know how it goes. More power to you. Okay, so these three squares just get stuck on. So I'm going to start by sticking those on. And... First one, I'm just making sure that this amount equals that amount. It's really close, but not quite. Okay, then I'm going to do the bottom one. And this order works pretty good for getting them all lined up. Okay, so now, again, the same amount. The bottom and the side are equal. Then the middle one, and the middle one is the side equal, and then it just builds this gap, which is equal. Okay, so those three are done. So now it's just time to put this one on. And this one, just have that one same side, the outside, equal to what this outside border is. And magically, it just works. Okay, so let's take the pinata. Oh, first I have to put a hat on them. Because that's just wrong. I was trying. I was trying to get all these colors on there, but the time I looked at it, it's like, it's just wrong. Then I looked up online pictures of pinatas so I knew what color to color them. And they did it. When they did it, it looks good. When I do it, now it looks good. Okay, so pinata is complete. So I'm going to take dimensionals. And this is so I could put the little tie right back there. See how there's the strings? And I don't know. Should it be one string? Or um, multiple strings to me just look better. But I don't know. So I'll put one more dimensional there after I get my level string ready. So to do this, first of all, I'll make the bow. I know how to make a bow. And just a little bitty one, as little bitty as you can. little bitty. Okay, so that's good. And then the string, <laughs> the string, I'm thinking I want to be about that long, but I'm, if you were just to put it on like this, 
um, because of the loop and the, um, I don't want to say the thickness of the string, but how it does what it wants to do. So I'm going to tie a knot in it way down here at the bottom, and that will keep these pieces together. So that magic card, you can do it with any stamp set that has little little pieces to it. Because the little pieces have to fit on the squares, so you could do the magic card. Okay, because there's a knot in it, that end is staying together. Convenient. So I'll put the knot kind of hiding. And a dimensional. Stick. Okay, that's a good start. And because I don't want it to fall apart, Tony just came in, changed, and now I hear him out on the lawnmower. I thought maybe he was going somewhere. Okay, a little bit of glue. So now let's attach this to the black scalloped contour panel. Oh, I didn't really get that centered in the red thing. Well, I think once I put the bow on it, it'll be fine. So I'll put it right about here, kind of leaning up. At first I had it pointing down and it's like, that just doesn't look good. And these are gonna go here. So you know what would be good is to take this edge, heck, take the whole edge. Okay, should have done this before, okay. Because now I know it has a place. The string has a place to land. It's real convenient if it goes in the little crack, but that's not straight up and down. Hmm, okay. It's not too bad. Actually, that keeps the little pieces together, too. Does it bug you that it's kind of going at an angle? Can I pull this up? Maybe? Oops. Okay, come on, pinata. Okay, so now it's more straight up and down. That's better. So when you're doing yours, if you can, think about where the divot is in the scallops. That will help you decide where the string should go. Okay, and to make sure these don't move, Don't move. If it's sealed in glue, it won't move. Okay, and then more dimensionals. Okay, so this is ready to go on to the front of the card. Oh, that's cute. I think I like it in gold. So let's put the bow on. So the bow will go on with the glue dot first, and then I'll follow it up with glue. So I'm going to take the glue dot and kind of roll it over. Hey, like a burrito. The bow can go right there. don't want it to move. Okay, bow, dry. I'll be using that. Okay, so now for these little bits, they go on with dimensionals and they each have a square to go on to. So 
So next I want to work with using new product. Kind of excited about that. And I have a swap to make. I have to get working on that too. Like there's so much to do. But um, I want to work with like do a gotta have it box using the daisy. I see everyone using the daisy and I just love it. Quesadilla. Quesadilla with a mini dimensional right about there. A little bit of glue. Another dimensional. And chili peppers. Oh, the hat. Can't forget the hat. The hat. This can be right under here. Isn't that cat cute? This one, he could be a little sideways. He's got a little gust of wind. Huh? The last video I told my um, story about about cactus running over it. Emma and I, I think we're traumatized for life. The cactus has probably grown back and had 10 babies by now, but Emma and I, that was, that was something. Chili pepper? Oh, this one I did it flat. Okay, well, I'll just do this one opposite. For this one, I see I colored out of the lines. I'm going to put it right there. Very cute. Okay, so all that's left is the inside. See how cute that is? Does it make you want nachos? Okay, so what do you like on your nachos? For a while, I was on a nacho kick and um, came across a few good ones. Came across a few, like, not so good. Like, you shouldn't be calling that um, nachos because it's just chips and then they put melted cheese on it and maybe some beans in a big clump. It's like, no, there's a whole lot more to nachos than that. So, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Good. And just a little bit of party going on and a little bit of coloring. And that's it. Just because so much coloring was on the outside. This gives you lots of room to write. Let me turn it upside down. A little bit more. See, I keep on stamping, and it's like, that means I need to keep coloring. Okay, it's okay if you're yelling, stop, stop stamping, because you could tell I don't have any of this done. Okay, so this one, I let all the colors be here, so it's like a party. On this one, I did just the blue colors. So, let's pull out Haitian Tide, and it looks like I did all of the... Um, this long candy in Tahitian Tide, which is fine. I need a little bit of a rhythm. Then all the little round candies, they could be many, many colors.
I like Tahitian Tide. I should use it more. It's coming up on being here for a year, and I've used it a few times. I used it on birdhouses right when it came out, and that was fun. All the ink colors from last year, they're very fun and festive. They're, you know, thinking about it, they're possibly all perfect for this project. So what is there? Perky Party, Tahitian Tide. I'm testing myself. I have to know more than that. Well, it's kind of hard with the, the color refresh. Um, I know the ones that are going away in just a few days. Pool party, see that. Okay. Colors. Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis. Yeah, I need to use them more. They're pretty. Yeah, they could all be used on a, a Fiesta card. And Lori informed me about Cinco de Mayo, how Kathy or no, Christine and friends, maybe with Kathy too. They went to Mexico thinking they're going to have the party of a lifetime and it was nothing. Lori informed me. Cinco de Mayo is an American thing. I understand now. It's a good reason to eat Mexican food. Yeah. Okay, and how about parakeet party for one of the, I'll, I'll do two candies one two in each of these um, bright colors Tony's lawnmower in we've had so much rain that the lower part of the property is just it's sloshy and um, he can't get the lawnmower there He'll sink and make ruts. You know, you can't have ruts in the grass. So there's not that many of the candies. I need more colors than that. What about that berry? The new berry burst. The return of berry burst. Ooh. There's also sweet sorbet. Okay, berry. This one could be berry. Isn't that pretty? Then, oh, this is Poppy. Poppy is good. Poppy is real good. Poppy Parade. Okay, we're getting to the end here. I know I just put a new one in. Oh, it's not winding. Well. doesn't work, I'll have to pull out another something. Since I'm on a roll. That's how I get that big old clunk of glue up in there. This is the sample, and here's the one with the gold on it. So the black goes on first. Okay. 
Then the inside. Isn't that cute? I mean, that's just a happy card. Okay, so that is it for today's project. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. I appreciate that. I hope you have a great day. Bye.